It's totally a sight and sound of the hottest summer days, water streaming from a properly capped fire hydrant, but that same sight and sound and feel of cold, refreshing water is supposed to be coming from here, too. These are sprinkler heads. They are off, even though the playground in which they're located is open. All city playgrounds are open, but we could find none whose sprinklers and fountains were on. It just adds to the inconveniences, people told us. It's been really, really difficult. It's been hot, the mask, the gloves. She pointed out that the pandemic has changed and closed so many resources for cooling, from the city's pools to libraries where people can usually sit in air-conditioned comfort. Even the cooling center locator is not activated. But Don Jean says he'll keep cool one way. AC. <laughs> AC. Air conditioning is a remedy for many. The electrical grid has gotten a break because so many office towers are still mostly empty. But more people are running air conditioners at home. That contributed to the week-long blackout in Astoria, Queens in 2006. Con Ed is assuring it's ready now to prevent that from happening. The city is divided into, into different networks. Each one of those networks is monitored 24-7 and um, you know, we're ready to respond whenever there's a problem. Added to the drain on the grid, 74,000 air conditioners the de Blasio administration made available to lower income New Yorkers age 60 or older. It happened after the comptroller issued a letter saying it was needed. We are now at the beginning of multiple heat waves. We must expand this program. We've got to get as many air conditioners into the hands of people who can't afford it. Now, if you or someone you know needs a free air conditioner or if you need help paying your electric bill to power your air conditioner, there are resources. We've got the links. Just go to my Facebook page at facebook.com slash James Ford TV.